up lovely people? So in today's video I wanted to talk about the new WebP format which is a lossless, lossy image format that has been developed by Google. So WebP has made its way into a lot of web pages all throughout the internet and it is developed to enhance the speed and delivery of images rather than using PNGs or JPEGs which were traditionally used in a lot of websites. So what I'm going to do is pretty much non-scientific really. I am going to replace PNGs and JPEGs with the next generation WebP format. And then I'm going to compare a speed test of the before and after results to see if it will actually make a difference. Alrighty guys, let's do this. So I did a Google search and I found CompressorDie.com and they were the best site to convert any kind of JPEG or PNG to the WebP lossy format. So let's go ahead and add some images to be compressed. Unfortunately, the site doesn't let you bulk, drag and drop, I don't think. Yeah, it has to be like one by one. So bear with me here. I'm just going to compress each image. Cool, so it's reduced it by 26.84%, which is pretty impressive. So this is pre-WebP formatting. So library.dev. Analyze yes, analyze. Let's see. Okay, so we've got an A grade rating, ninety-six percent performance. I think what we should probably look at is the overall load time of 1.3 seconds 1.3 seconds fully loaded that's very fast so to be honest i'll be surprised if there would be any improvement in performance note that top issues for my side is properly sized images and cdn and that sort of thing but i do actually have a cdn for that but for some reason gt metrics doesn't really pick it up okay so we've got a fully loaded time of 1.3 seconds and the total page size is mainly made up of images, which hopefully we will improve that immensely with the compressions of the WebP format. And then we'll go look at Google. Uh, we've got a rating of 81 for mobile and desktop of 99. Well, 99 on desktop, that's pretty good. Oh so yeah, I mean, properly sized images, I can say 0.72 seconds and serve images in next gen formats 0 0.6 seconds so we'll see if the webp format does its trick so let's go ahead and um, i'll jump into my hosting provider and we'll replace those images hopefully it's not going to break the entire website but we'll see what happens change the image tags as well hopefully this will work Seems like it's working. Okay, so let's go to GT metrics and have a look and see if WebP lossy format is worth the hype. Boom. And then we will go to page speed by Google and reanalyze site analyze generate report here we go oh wow I am surprised whoa Ooh. 99 percent performance one second fully uploaded time. I think that's 0 0.3 seconds better. Damn, now I've been changed to low, 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 and then the CDN, but it does have a CDN, but oh well. Fully loaded time of one second. Okay, let's have a look at PageSpeed by Google. Let's see what I get. 
87. What did I get last time? 81. Okay, that's an improvement for mobile performance. Whoop de doo. That's so cool. Okay, yeah, that's an improvement. Ooh, 99%. And we have a fully loader time of 0 0.7 seconds for desktop. That's very quick. So that's, that's actually really cool. Okay, guys, thanks for watching my video. So as you can see, WebP is uh, definitely the next image generation format for websites and the internet. I would highly recommend it if you are developing a site for yourself or you're perhaps doing a website for a freelance gig or friends or family. I believe you owe it to the internet for faster performance and faster load times for everyone. Better user experience is where it's at. So I will now officially be using WebP format instead of PNG and a JPEG. And we will get those performance gains, as I said, 0.3 of a second and a 99% rating as well, which is fantastic.